en question. Président, please be seated. Veuillez vous asseoir. The court is back in session. Reprise de l'audience. I now hand over to the defense team for Mr. Nguyen Chia to La put the question est to the à la défense de Nguyen Chia in question. Qui pourra uh, interroger la partie civile. Counsel Sonarun, good morning, Mr. President. Good morning, Your Honours, Maître and good Sonarun. morning to everyone. Bonjour, My name Monsieur is Sonarun. Bonjour, Monsieur le Président. Mesdames et Messieurs les juges. Bonjour à tous. Je m'appelle Sonarun. I have a few questions to put to questions uh, the civil party. À poser à la partie uh, civile. I am the defense lawyer for Mr. Nunchier. Je suis I only have un des a few questions for you, Je que and then questions I will hand poser. over to my uh, colleague. And my colleague uh, does not have uh, too many questions either. We will need approximately one hour. Nous aurons besoin environ my minutes. question uh, to you is as follows. In the record of interview, Dans le document D, uh, uh, 246-3, that you uh, actually received from the uh, civil party lawyer, I would like to base my question on this uh, record of interview. Un uh, during uh, the interview with the investigators of the OCIJ, uh, there was one question to you, and the question reads, uh, did you ever uh, see the execution of people at Trakraul? And in your response, you uh, said, uh, yes, uh, you did. At one time, one prisoner was taken to the commune, uh, communal dining hall of the cooperatives and Anka told the people who were present uh, there that uh, the man who was being arrested was trying to flee uh, the uh, cooperatives and then after they um, introduced this man uh, to the crowd and then uh, the man was beheaded. I, uh, and then you said that you did not see uh, the uh, beheading of the uh, man, but Vous you only saw uh, the head de la of scène, the uh, cops uh, fell down on the uh, ground. So you said uh, that you saw the beheaded head uh, on the ground. So did you see uh, the beheaded head uh, falling down, or you merely saw the head was on the ground? Est-ce que vous avez vu la tête? Tombé, the president, vous avez vu uh, la tête witness, par terre. Uh, the civil party, rather. Uh, please hold on. Uh, the Le president. civil party lawyer, you may proceed. Madame, veuillez attendre Counsel la parole for the civil party. I do not object uh, to uh, this question, Mr. President, Ce but I would like uh, the, the council to be more precise in relation to the page uh, number or the ERN, relevant the ERN number. Uh, Council Sonoran, thank you. Thank you. Uh, it is document D246-3, uh, 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 relevant here in, in Khmer. Uh, rather, in English, 0079146, French, 0024-56. Malheureusement, les interprètes de cabine française n'ont pas entendu les ORN correctes. Le président, la parole est à l'accusation. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Vous aurez remarqué que dans les questions qui ont été posées par les avocats des partis civils et les procureurs, ce volet n'a pas été vraiment abordé à part quelques questions et uniquement parce que la partie civile avait dit que son mari, qui était un ancien officier, avait été identifié comme tel et c'est la, la raison pour laquelle ils se sont retrouvés dans ce centre de détention. Up, Tous les autres uh, détails ont été passés uh, sous silence, justement parce qu'on est dans ce dossier uh, 
0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-
soldiers were also imprisoned and et executed later on. From 1975 suite. to 1976, Entre the Khmer Rouge soldiers killed uh, some uh, 100,000 uh, prisoners, and I believe uh, that uh, these figures was correct. Je pense que ce and exact. then you said uh, to the co-investigating voilà judges that uh, Puis, you uh, thinks that the figure was correct. And vous what uh, donc, did you base uh, your statement on or your uh, belief on uh, that uh, within a period of one year uh, span, uh, there were up to 100 uh, prisoners killed? 100,000, rather. Response. It was uh, my belief uh, at the time, and I thought that uh, the, the, the figure was correct. Uh, we work uh, every three days, and then uh, we have to uh, stop for about two days. So uh, on every two days uh, basis, they brought to up to 100 to uh, 200 people for execution. And they started killing not only in 1976, but it started in 1975. So if you do a little of the calculation of uh, 365 days per year, and then if they killed uh, approximately 1 or 200 uh, prisoners every two or three days, then you can uh, imagine how many uh, of prisoners would have been killed uh, during that period. And the reason why I believe, because every day they send people from different uh, cooperatives and uh, it was very crowded and we see bondé. people uh, being uh, frog marched and we saw them only one or two days and then uh, those uh, people uh, disappeared uh, so I thought that they must have been killed and uh, we heard uh, from people particularly those who were the soldiers those who uh, frog marched uh, those uh, prisoners out and those people uh, were uh, the one who uh, knew uh, this uh, story, and they were themselves were in prison as well, Et and some of them returned, and they told that uh, they uh, brought those uh, ça, prisoners to be executed. Even at night, we could uh, smell the door, the, uh, thing, uh, the door of the uh, dead uh, bodies that were being perished. De corps en décomposition. La défense. Merci. Question. From 1975 through 1979, you were evacuated uh, from one place to another, vous according to your uh, statement to the Office of Co-Investigating Judges. You were evacuated uh, from Phnom Penh uh, first, and then uh, the Khmer Rouge Après soldiers quoi, located you in uh, certain uh, places, and there were uh, actually uh, different phases of uh, evacuation. During uh, the evacuation uh, period, uh, did you ever hear uh, the instruction, the direct instruction from the uh, leaders, for example, uh, did you uh, simply go along with uh, the crowd whenever you had to move, or you heard the direct uh, instructions from the uh, leaders? Entendu les instructions directes des yeah. Response. Yeah, there were several phases. I uh, left uh, Phnom Penh, and then I went to other places. And of course, it was not uh, my desire to uh, move uh, from one place to another, but it was the uh, order or the instruction from the superiors. I were uh, uh, request. Uh, uh, to move uh, from Kandal province to Kampung Chenang and Pusat uh, province. And then I were in prison in different uh, prison centers as well, including Trak Kral, Banknal, and uh, other places. So it was the direction from the uh, leaders. It was not my desire to move uh, around across the country. Um, question. My question really is, uh, did you uh, hear the instruction directly from the leader, or you simply heard uh, from uh, members of the crowd who uh, told you that we had to move, and then you move along with them? 
le temps de la part d'autres gens que I vous avez entendus qu'il fallait uh, Juliet, uh, chief, uh, supervising the crowd, and they were members of the uh, des chefs, armies, notamment des chefs d'unité qui surveillaient uh, la uh, foule. Uh, Il s'agissait de chefs d'unité we appartenant à l'armée et responsables des prisons où nous étions you told enfermés. The court earlier that, uh, you were in the prison. Vous uh, avez dit avoir été emprisonné. So, Vous avez été emprisonné pendant toute la période uh, que je suis en Vous faisiez simplement partie yeah, yeah. d'une foule. Et vous considérez que c'est une uh, forme d'emprisonnement Réponse. Uh, à compter de la mi-76, in au moment où j'étais dans la province de Bosat, j'étais en prison en permanence. Nous ne pouvions pas vivre chez nous. Nous devions rester avec d'autres personnes. Il y avait des gens qui étaient en prison et il y avait des gens qui étaient en prison. Il y avait des gens qui étaient en prison et des gens qui étaient en prison. Nous devions vivre dans le camp de la prison. Uh, for a long period of time with many, many uh, prisoners. Pendant longtemps, il y avait beaucoup de prisonniers. Question. Question. When you were being in prison, as you put it, Quand vous avez été emprisonné, pour did the Khmer Rouge soldiers at that time call it a prison or it Khmer was called something else at that time? Disaient que c'était une prison ou bien est-ce qu'ils employaient un autre mot? Yeah. Response. Réponse. No, at that time, à it was not called a uh, prison as such, prison. Uh, but it was called the re-education center. On appelait ça des centres de rééducation. Question. Question. When you uh, saw the supervisor uh, vous avez vu within your uh, team, le chef de votre équipe. Uh, what was uh, the um, dress code of the uh, supervisor? Were they in military Comment uniform or they were in any particular uh, uniform? Portait-il un uniforme militaire yeah, no ou un autre uniforme? Response. At Réponse. the times, uh, they wore uh, black Uh, clothes, ils étaient uh, habillés en noir. And they were all arms. So Et they were ils étaient armed at all times, armés en permanence. Even during lunch, uh, meal times, Même they pendant were also armed. les repas. Whenever they frog march, other people Quand out, ils emmenaient uh, they were also armed. les gens à l'écart ben de force, ils étaient armés aussi. Question. When you were instructed Question. to go out uh, to do Quand the work, uh, for example, in the field or so, dans les champs. Uh, did you notice the language they use? Were were they the? Um, Est-ce que vous avez constaté? Uh, Khmer, uh, did they use Khmer language or ethnic uh, minority? Did you Khmer notice the action of uh, of those uh, supervisors or soldiers? Were they uh, uh, Cambodian? La langue de minorité ethnique. Je parle ici des main, soldats et des supérieurs. Main, uh, stream Cambodian or people from Khmer minority groups? Bien appartenait-il? Response. Well, when they gave us instruction Réponse. to go to work, uh, their actions were actually Cambodian. Uh, Cambodian uh, and if I recognize uh, the action accent. correctly, they were people from Pursat province. Je pense que des gens de la province de Pursat, question. Leur In the same document, question. I move on to another question. Just now I ask you. Uh, concerning your evacuation in Je several phases during the entire period of the democratic year during la période du Kampuchea démocratique during uh, this period uh, did you ever uh, see any uh, foreigners uh, uh, whether they be the technicians or military personnel or anybody des during this period par exemple Response. Réponse. No, I, I never met any foreigners non, je n'ai jamais that period. rencontré d'étrangers durant cette période. Uh, question. Question. Uh, this is going to be my last uh, question. J'en viens à ma dernière question. In document uh, D, 
Dans le document D246-3, French 00-42-24-58. This is the question, the last question by the uh, co-investigating judges. Par les the la question reads, question. Je la lis. as uh, my, ap my apology, let me check this again. So the question reads, as a civil party, civil, what are your expectations? Que and in attendez. your response, you stated, Et voici votre quote, Je la cite, I want justice Je for la justice those innocent people les who died during the Khmer Rouge regime. I want the Khmer Rouge senior leaders to be held responsible and punished for the offenses they committed. I would also like to find those who supported, who were at the back of the Khmer Rouge regime, both foreigners and Cambodians. End quote. So on this particular portion of the uh, interview, particularly your statement to the question by PV the uh, investigating judges, why did you make such an appeal before the Office of Co-Investigating Judges? Why did you want to bring to uh, justice uh, those who supported the Khmer Rouge regime, both national and foreigners? What do you mean by foreigners here? Why, why did you appeal uh, to have those uh, foreigners and uh, Cambodian uh, nationals who supported the Khmer Rouge uh, to justice? À qui faites-vous référence quand vous parlez de yeah. ces Cambodians et de ces étrangers? Response. Because I was suggesting uh, that uh, the order, the order that was uh, carried out uh, uh, during the Khmer Rouge period, were in concerted and systematic uh, uh, structure. So it was not the uh, decision of the unit chief or the uh, cooperative chief or so. There must be people who were behind the Khmer Rouge. I know that there were people who were backing up the Khmer Rouge because I saw a fleet of trucks, fleet of trucks transporting items. And then the, those trucks, as far as I knew, were the uh, support of uh, China. And uh, those personnel who were in the fleet uh, of trucks carrying goods or so uh, wore different uniforms. So uh, we had to find out who they were. And we wanted this court to find out who were behind, who were uh, supporting. We know I myself am convinced uh, that this court will definitely find justice for the victims of the Khmer Rouge regime, and particularly those who are still surviving, but they have sustained a lot of pain and suffering to date. Council, thank you. Uh, thank you, civil party. Uh, on behalf of the defense team for uh, Mr. Nguyen Chi, I thank Madame. you for responding to my question. I would like to now hand over to my uh, colleague uh, to put more questions to you. Thank you, Mr. President. Good morning, Mr. President. Good morning, everyone Bonjour, in and around Monsieur the courtroom, Président. and Bonjour, especially good morning to you, Mrs. Leigh Bonny. Thank you for being here with us Merci today. As Mr. Sonarun indicated, I will have Arun, about 30 more minutes of questions, mon um, va durer and une um, my first questions will relate Ma to question uh, the situation in Phnom Penh before April 1975. You have already testified about the period leading up to April 1975, and you have described it as a, a chaotic situation, que la situation était chaotique and you have also spoken about the uh, huge influx of people in Phnom Penh. 
Can you tell us a little bit more about this huge influx of people in Phnom Penh? Did you actually see those people as they were entering Phnom Penh before April 1975? Response. Thank you. Réponse. I saw this in person vu when the war was being brought closer to Phnom Penh. We could see people moving in with their Penh, family members and it was crowded. Cambodiana Hotel was not monde. yet L'hôtel Cambodiana the construction was not complete and achevé. it was already crowded with refugees Et le site était it displaced déjà people bondé de who took refuge de at the vicinity the price of food increased le prix des and we received uh, some American aid uh, and uh, these supplies uh, aid uh, could be then uh, Sold et by ce ravitaillement était revendu par Thank les you. soldats. And you described that uh, these people stayed around the Cambodiana Hotel. Les gens logés Were there donc other près places in the city where these y refugees assembled? endroits en ville où se regroupaient ces réfugiés? Response. I saw people in other places. I only indicated uh, with reference to that particular location, for, ex for example, a lot of people had to remain in other area like rent uh, to rooms and places where they could stay. And as far as you could tell, did these refugees all have shelter or did some of them have to stay out on the streets or in the fields? Response. Response. It is um, difficult to describe because for example for a big house we had uh, when the price increased we had to split uh, the space uh, in the house setting up some partition so that it could be rented to refugees, people who would come to the city to take refuge uh, for some income. So some, some refugees were housed in other houses in Phnom Penh, but did you also see refugees camped on the streets or in shacks, for example? Response. During the time when Phnom Penh was about to fall, I did not go out a lot because I was uh, about to give birth uh, to my baby and the bombings uh, were heard uh, dropping all across uh, the surrounding area, so I was so scared to leave my home. And as far as you could tell, these refugees that had moved into Phnom Penh, did they have enough food or was that difficult? Response. It was difficult when it comes to food because Phnom Penh was not expected to accommodate all this great influx of people from the different places of the country. So 
there were a lot of difficulties looking for food earning income for example so it's it's really difficult you have also stated yesterday that Question. your family did not have a problem with rice because soldiers were given enough rice avoir du riz car les soldats recevaient assez de riz I would like you to clarify a bit for us. Did the government give you, in fact, actual rice, or did they give you enough money to buy rice? Response. At that time, my husband was a soldier so he received uh, some f uh, rice um, from his unit. Il recevait donc du riz de son unité. And Question. also yesterday you testified that um, your family had problems getting other food food foodstuffs, foodstuffs, foodstuffs other than rice. Could you give us some examples? What sort of foodstuffs couldn't you get? Response. In my family, we did not have problem with the food supply because we dug a small hiding place uh, where we could keep all these uh, food stuff including fish paste, uh, the salt and other kitchen needs. So we did not have a lot of problems with this. And the following questions are about the citizens of Phnom Penh that were not refugees and that were not soldiers. So I'm speaking about the normal citizens of Phnom Penh. Did you witness their situation? Did they have problems acquiring foodstuffs? Response. response yes they did uh, as effect, already indicated although I did not see this in person as I moment. had uh, been about to give birth uh, to Alors, my baby I remained in the house but I heard uh, from my neighbors who uh, said that people a had a lot of difficulties with food and do you know if the Question. normal citizens of Phnom Penh Ça had access to adequate health care? Were there enough doctors, enough hospitals, and enough medicine? Assez assez de assez de Response. Réponse. It is not fair to say that uh, there was shortcoming of medical uh, care because there were enough hospitals open for offering medical care to people who needed such care. And was it difficult to get to those hospitals to receive that health care? Response. I do not know how to respond to this because I did not experience being admitted to any of the hospitals at that time, so I can't say about this. Thank you for that answer. You were, or you have told us that you have been told that you had to leave the city 
because of um, American bombardments that might be coming. At that time, in 1975, did you believe that? Did you believe that the Americans might be bombing Phnom Penh? Response. At that time, I was afraid uh, because the message was convincing already. A few days or months before that, we already noted that bombs were dropped. Uh, so when having heard uh, that uh, the city would be bombed, uh, we were terrified already, so we had to move. Thank you. Um, Merci. You have stated that you um, were evacuated from Phnom Penh, and then Vous avez dit after a um, de Phnom Penh, after some travels, you arrived in Anchiang Loi village, village uh, which is in the Puk Rusei commune in the Ksak Kandal district. district and, and my apologies for Et the pronunciation. And you have stated that over there, Vous avez dit there was enough cet endroit, food. Il y avait suffisamment Could you de elaborate a little bit on that for us? Pouvez-vous me donner plus de détails? No. In Anjang Le of Sakandal district, I could say that the food was decent because by every evening we would be asked to get some fish. And we could also find some rice. After leaving Phnom Penh, we left with silk fabrics or other clothing, and we could have them traded for rice. And the we also could trade uh, these items for some kind of fish or vegetables. So I could say that when we evacuated to the rural area during these early days with this food, I could say it was decent. And a bit later, after some more travels, you arrived in Kochum Pagoda. And you have stated that you were given the opportunity to choose a cooperative that you wanted to go to. Could you tell us a little bit about that? Who provided you with the opportunity to choose a cooperative? Response. At Kachum Pagoda, people were unloaded from the ox carts, or people were stopped at that location where ox carts would be waiting for us, and we were allowed to go to any direction we preferred, or if we would like to remain at the Kachum cooperative, then we would be allowed to do so. And the, our family members who were from Posat uh, said that uh, we should not move elsewhere because it doesn't matter where we went, uh, we would end up being farmers doing farming, so we might as well uh, waste uh, to remain in the location. And just to remind us, can you tell us from when to when you stayed in the Kochum Pagoda? Could you give us? An estimate of the year and the month. 
euh, à la pagode de Kokchom, si vous pouviez nous donner le mois et l'année. Response. Réponse. At Kokchom Pagoda or Kokchom Cooperative, I was there at the, during the rainy season. Je suis resté after à la coopérative de After the Khmer New Year, it was in 1976. So after the Khmer New Year, I had then been transferred to the tempering center. On m'a transféré au centre de rééducation. And you have also stated that during your time at the uh, Kochum Pagoda, you uh, never saw people vous avez aussi dit que die of vous starvation. De, de Kochum, Is that correct? Vous n'avez pas été témoin de personnes qui seraient mortes de faim. Est-ce exact? Response. Yes, it is. Réponse. I never saw people die of starvation, although the rice uh, was of short supplies at the cooperative, we could uh, make use of the rice we brought along with us, and we could exchange um, the we could ask uh, people who fed uh, the pig, you know, with food to exchange the food for Human de la nourriture <coughs> Thank avec you. And ceux qui fournissaient la nourriture au port. When you came back to Phnom Penh, Question. you stated to the investigators, when you came back to Phnom Penh, you lost your house. Phnom Penh, Could you tell us perdu votre maison? how you lost your house? Pouvez-vous nous dire comment cela s'est passé? Response. Upon returning to Phnom Penh, it was in 1980, because by 1979 I had still been in Posat. I came to Phnom Penh in 1980, and I could not recognize my house anymore because uh, it uh, was, uh, it used to be located across from Long Hospital and Longnet. it was reduced to just an empty plot of land. Et tout avait été rasé. Just so I understand, was your house reduced to an empty plot of land or was the area Christian. in front of your house Etait reduced to an empty plot of land? Est-ce qu'il était devant votre maison qui a été rasée? The president, uh, civil party, could you please make sure that the mic is activated before you proceed with your response? Le président, madame la partie civile, veuillez attendre que votre micro soit Response. La partie civile. My house uh, was across from Long Ngat Hospital, ma maison but était the en current residence is in Tuk Tla. Mais ma résidence actuelle area. est Tuk Tla. It was far from, it is far from the previous home. Mais c'est loin which was in Sankat uh, number 4. Ancienne maison qui était dans le Sankat numéro 4. That makes sense. You have stated Maître to the investigators of the OCIJ that vous avez aussi when you came back to your house there were officials of the Ministry vous, of Foreign Affairs living in your house. Qui chez vous. How did you find out about this? Comment l'avez-vous su? Response. I learned about this after asking other people about who stayed in the house. No, actually, these people uh, stay uh, at my aunt's house, not at my former home. Uh, the place was still vacant. And do you know who these officials of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs were, were they Cambodians or were they Vietnamese by any chance? 
des Vietnamiens. The President, the Civil Party, could you please hold on and counsel for the Civil Party? You on your feet. You may proceed. La civile, enfin, le Council Mojsobanari, I take dit, issue with the current questions put uh, to uh, my uh, to the civil party because it is not within the scope of uh, the uh, the matter en before effet, us as the question is relevant to the event after 1980. I would submit, Mr. President, donc, that it is relevant. Um, the civil party has been asked what happened to her house. Is this is directly related to the maison. evacuation of Phnom Penh in 1975. That's when she was made to leave her house according to her testimony. It matters whether she got her house donc, back il est or not, de si and it matters why she did non. not get her house back. It seems from her statements to the OCIJ that she did not get her house back because the current government, or at least the government that was in place in 1980, did not return the house. My clients could not be held responsible for such a fact. So it would be a mitigating factor we need to explore cela, if the current government, the government in 1980, si took the House of the Civil Party and whether or not they have returned it. So si I would submit that uh, this question is relevant. Je donc que ma question est tout à fait pertinent. Uh, the President. Le président. Madame Civil Party, you may respond Madame to Civil, the question, but please be more precise on the subject matter before us. Uh, now, make sure that you are referring to your home or your aunt's home. Si vous uh, de votre maison, so de votre tante. We, we believe that uh, your response uh, was already clear to us, Nous but Council may wish to may hear from you again whether you are referring to your home or your aunt's home again. Si vous ici response, de votre maison, uh, de votre my home was reduced to an empty plot of land. Ma the officers uh, only came to live Les at my aunt's home, and these people tante. were officials from the front ministry. Et il de du des so, your statements Question. to the investigators bon. of the co-investigating judges on this issue is incorrect. Donc, is that how I should understand your aux enquêteurs de position? Instruction était incorrect. Est -ce do, est -ce là Maybe I will, ce que je dois for transparency purposes, pour, pour read out de, to you what you have stated clarté, to the investigators. De citer ce que vous avez and écrit, um, ce it que is the document that we've been speaking du document about all along. It is um, uh, document de number D2463. And the uh, my ERN is 00373255, and the English ERN is 00379164. The question was, what happened to your house in Phnom Penh? Your answer was. I lost my house. J'ai perdu ma maison. I returned to see my house in 1980. Je suis retourné voir ma maison en 1980. Mais affairs des fonctionnaires du ministère des Affaires étrangères vivaient chez moi. End of quote. Fin de citation. So, my question again is: This portion of your statement to the OCIJ is incorrect. Is that fair to say? Et c'est juste de dire que cette partie du procès verbal de votre audition par les enquêteurs est erronée. Response. I came to see that my house uh, was uh, uh, belong to other already because at the beginning when I came back the 
plot of land that used to belong to me was reduced to an empty plot of land. But later on, people built a home on that empty land. But then next to my the the home was my aunt's house that occupied by officials. Thank you for that explanation, and it's not very important as such, but I will repeat the question. Is it fair to say that your statement that officials of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs were living in your house was incorrect? Response. I already stated that my home was already reduced to an empty plot of land, and the house that was adjacent to my former home was my aunt's house, and it was occupied by the officials from the foreign ministry because there was no home, no my uh, there was no my home again after. Uh, uh, when I went back Car to ma see it. Plus là quand je suis Thank you. That clarifies things. And just to be la clear, défense, uh, you oui, did sign clair, mais this statement précis, vous avez that you signé delivered before the investigators become investigating judges de and you confirmed its accuracy in the courtroom today. Ou plutôt, vous en avez confirmé l'exactitude dans le prétoire aujourd'hui. N'est-ce pas exact Response. Réponse. I did uh, confirm uh, that and I did oui. state uh, this in Je person before the investigating charges. Euh, aussi moi-même euh, au cours juge d'instruction. Thank you. I have no further questions. Um, Merci. Je and peu I questions. thank you for coming here and on behalf of the Nunchia defense team, I, uh, de de I wish you a safe trip back after my uh, colleagues for the other defense teams have finished their questioning. Thank you. Merci, ah, the President, uh, thank you, Council. We would like now to proceed to Council for Mr. Yang Sari to put questions uh, to the civil party if they wish to do so. Council, I'm a dumb. Thank you, Mr. President, Merci, and thank Monsieur you, Président. Your Honours, and uh, good morning, Madame Lai Boni. I am Ang Odam with Oudan. my colleague, uh, Mr. Michael Canovas, who is sitting at the back. We are representing Mr. Ian Sari. We do not Monsieur have any questions to put to question you. Nonetheless, on behalf of Mr. Ian Sari, we would like uh, to Monsieur thank Yingsari. you very much uh, for taking the stand to give your testimonies, and we wish you all the best. Thank you, Mr. President. Merci the President, uh, next uh, we would like to hand yeah. over to counsel for Mr. Kilson Pond to put questions to the civil party if they wish to do so. Si Council Thank you, Mr. President, Merci, and thank you, Monsieur Your Honours. On behalf Madame of Monsieur Mr. Kilson Pond, we do not have any Monsieur questions Kilson to put to the civil party. I thank you. The President, Le thank you. As indicated Merci. already, Comme finally, indiqué, as a civil party, party civil, Madame, Madame Lai Boni, you have the right to express your déclaration suffering dans laquelle vous and the que vous avez injuries you have suffered if you would wish to do so. Si vous Civil party. I thank you, Mr. President and Your Honours. As a civil party, I am pleased. And this is the 
best opportunity after 30 years I have been living with all the suffering and because of the court I am here to express my suffering my suffering after 1975 April 1975 I have been living in great misery and grief because I had to leave my home left behind my family members and property and I had to walk Ma propriété, mes amis. a long distance although famille, I had just delivered my baby I had been saving this happiness but all was destroyed by the Khmer Rouge Les Khmer Rouge ont we toute had de bonheur. to travel to a destination where my husband and kids mm. were all mes enfants killed et mon mari I have tués. kept this suffering in my heart for a very, very long period of time and I would like to thank you the Et chamber very much for giving me this opportunity to speak it out and I have have been detained in several detention facilities I was treated de even worse than the way the animals were treated. Encore moins bien que I des do animaux. not know why my whole family, including me, were Je ne sais pas pourquoi. detained Je ne and pourquoi moi et ma famille confined été in the detention facilities, dans des although de we did not commit any wrongdoing. Nous a lot of people aucun were badly treated. Beaucoup de gens ont they été were Ils ont été tortured, Torturé. they were forced to give confession on a forcé when de their faire des aveux. toenails will be pulled Alors on leur and des also ongles. some would be plunged into the full jar of water and on one occasion a woman stated very firmly fois, that she was happier to die rather than living this living hell. And she had uh, been beaten. People were beaten even at work, even when eating and sleeping. People who were too hungry had to pick some leaves uh, to substitute the very meager food but then when they got diarrhea of eating the leaves they were accused of uh, doing, uh, committing the mistake and they were all beaten and many were shackled they were forced to work Ils étaient forcés and à travailler. Uh, they would be tortured if they were seen Ils stealing se any food torturés ils étaient surpris and en train uh, de voler later la on after a hundred thousand people were ensuite, executed uh, then environ 100 000 personnes ont été exécutées a lot of us had to be sent uh, to bon work in Bengal District 23 to do farming and we transplanted about 100 hectares of paddy fields. We had to work until 12 p.m. And uh, at 3 a.m. we were again asked to get up to work. À nouveau, nous At that time, nous we had to use the empty sack to nous cover our body to keep us from getting cold. Pour, uh, nous le corps the president, uh, civil party, could you please uh, 
be slower Madame, because uh, -vous if you speak rather fast, uh, we are afraid si uh, your message vite, would not be properly rendered into the other languages, for example, the French and English, because here langues. before us we have uh, our colleagues uh, who are speaking French and English. So please slow down and uh, make sure that um, you keep good pace uh, when making your statement. You may proceed. And also uh, wait until you see the red light. I am la partie civile. I, I will do that. Uh, I was a bit uh, too Je excited about this. And I, uh, the situation was miserable and the food ration was very small. We had only a few let all of pottery cruel and uh, we were very exhausted every day. We had to go to the field because we were feared uh, for our life. And when we went to the field, we had to carry uh, uh, the siblings along with us. We had to uh, hold a big bunch of uh, siblings to us. And if we drop any sibling along the way, they would uh, beat us along the way, all the way to the rice paddy. So we had to uh, go down to the field on a daily basis, Tous and we had to transplant rice. And we were given a certain quota, certain areas of land Rapiqué to uh, transplant uh, the uh, siblings. We have to meet the quotas, otherwise we would be sanctioned, we would be punished. So we had to comply with the direction, but the food ration was minimal indeed. Uh, that was the life was like at that situation. It was very, very miserable. And later on, I and my team uh, could transplant uh, 100 hectares of uh, rice field. When they frog march uh, us from uh, Tukul uh, prison to Bangkul uh, re-education re uh, center, there were many members in our team disappeared. Uh, then we noticed uh, people who disappeared among our teams. We noticed that they uh, must have been executed. And then... Uh, uh, we also noted that those who were uh, given uh, under the control of the Northwest Zone Authority were uh, also killed. So once we have transplanted uh, 100 hectares of uh, rice, then we hand over to uh, the cooperative. And after that, uh, they frog march us uh, to uh, Bangkul uh, re-education camp, uh, camp. When we live over there, it was the most miserable uh, place I had ever uh, endured in my life. Uh, it was a very terrible situation. Those who committed a small, minor, negligible uh, wrongdoing were shackled uh, and punished. And in terms of food ration, it was very uh, minimal. And if we uh, made any any minor mistakes, we would be bitten um, all the time. And those who were imprisoned in the dark prison, uh, they did not have to be executed, but they would die uh, there because they had to live uh, in a small and stuffy uh, cell uh, under the zinc roof and in the, in the middle of the uh, rice field. So it was very hot. So those who were in prison in the dark uh, uh, prison, uh, they, uh, their fate uh, would uh, be uh, unfortunate. In other words, they would not be able to return. And when I was over there, I was starving. I had everything, including the snail. And snail, I had it uh, raw. It was not cooked at all. We were too starving at that time. We could eat anything. We uh, did not care about the uh, eating etiquette or anything. We just simply ate anything that could fill our stomach. And Every morning, we were escorted, we were frog-marched uh, to the work uh, place, and then uh, during uh, the lunch times, we would be frog-marched uh, back uh, to our dining halls, and then we only had for a short period of time, then we would be frog-marched again uh, to transplant. And I was wondering to myself, why these people were so cruel? Uh, we were made to work. 
uh, very hard and we were, we were given only a short period of time to sleep. Uh, even if um, uh, we had to go to work a bit early in the morning, but we had to be uh, awakened up at around uh, 3 o'clock in the morning and we had to sit there doing nothing. And why didn't they allow us uh, to have uh, enough uh, sleep? And when my area, uh, when one of the cooperatives were flooded, uh, we were asked uh, to build a dam in order to prevent uh, the uh, water from flooding the rice paddy. And then uh, they over there told us uh, that uh, people over there, particularly uh, the cooperative members, thought that we were all the sieved and the sieve were coming to their cooperative. So we were very resented with uh, their uh, degrading uh, comments and uh, uh, treatment uh, over there. Nous avons été so we uh, had to uh, have them, and after uh, building the dam, we also uh, went to other places to have, uh, particularly to have uh, prevent the waters from uh, coming in uh, the rice field. And in the cooperatives, uh, there were cooperative members and those who were working in the re-education uh, camp. Uh, for those who work at the education camp, uh, they had to uh, work, but they could return uh, to, uh, to their place and they had uh, something uh, to eat. But for us, uh, we had to uh, work and we had to carry water and us. As for cooperatives, particularly those who were in the cooperatives, they had uh, something to eat. Uh, for for me and my teams who were the newcomers, we had to work all day long. And only when we came uh, to the dining hall, we were given food. Uh, but at the time, many people were bitten uh, as well. And we live in a big crowd, and we were considered prisoners. And when people... Uh, put everything uh, together uh, in the hall, uh, some items were missing, and then uh, we were bitten if we were si making manqué, any nous noise nous or frappé. we were discussing. Nous so we were bitten si uh, every day and every Chaque time. We, uh, one day, we were told uh, jour, to build the uh, the dam, uh, and it was a very hard work. And we had to work under the rain and uh, at night. Sous la pluie et pendant la nuit. And uh, in the Tonlesap uh, areas, uh, the Dans la région du Tonlesap, we had to we had to uh, try to prevent the water from Nous coming into the rice fields. That was our responsibility. So we had to uh, stay in water the whole Nous day. Uh, we were very cold. It was very Nous cold, and uh, we were starving as well. And uh, at one time, we prayed that à the moment, dam was uh, broken. And uh, one day, one of the uh, dams were broken uh, by the water current, and then Le many people died. Un barrage, et beaucoup de gens sont morts. Uh, we were, but during that time, uh, the, when the water was coming, uh, they had to uh, try to uh, dig up the potatoes, and we were very hungry. Those who were uh, coming to this place were very hungry, so we had to uh, uh, take this opportunity to find the uh, potatoes, and then we ate them raw. But those who were found picking the potatoes were uh, shackled and uh, in prison. And during the uh, night time at the sleeping place, we had to sleep uh, in the hall, and uh, we 
sleep everywhere uh, and then we could uh, find at the times where uh, it was the flooding seasons and then there was earthworm everywhere and we had to sleep along with the earthworms and every morning we could see our feet was among the earthworms over there so we were like living in the house uh, we do not understand why they treated us inhumanely why they treat us in such a very degrading uh, situation uh, I did not know they were also human beings. Why did they have to do that uh, to us? And those the uh, black cloth uh, soldiers uh, had to evacuate us from one Les place to another. Noir, and we were wondering uh, when we will eventually settle down nous because nous we were kept uh, moving uh, from one place to another. Part, and my uh, relatives, my uh, siblings, uh, uh, di three of them died. Only me survived uh, this regime. So I did not uh, dare resist uh, their orders. I had to move along with others whenever we uh, were made uh, to move from one place to another. And then even Eventually, I came to Tropeng Chong uh, commune. I came uh, to that uh, place. Uh, finally, uh, I would like to. Actually, it's my uh, suggestion after I have. Uh, describes the suffering I have endured. We were treated like animals. We were treated uh, very inhumanely. So I would like to uh, have a few suggestions to the court. I made it clear in my victim information form. Uh, I would like to ask the court uh, to uh, search for the truth. I would like to know who were un uh, behind uh, these um, heinous uh, crimes. I would like to know whether or not there were uh, foreigners who were behind uh, these uh, heinous uh, crimes because I do not understand why a human being would uh, uh, do these kinds of inhumane acts. So I hope that the court will be able to find um, uh, justice for us. I know that the court did not conduct any uh, investigation into the uh, coal uh, prison, uh, but I think there are many other prisons in the country uh, that the court uh, may uh, also consider. So I would like to urge uh, that the court uh, consider uh, investigating and finding the truth. And I would also like uh, the court to recognize uh, the day or we to uh, pronounce the remembrance for those who die in uh, Kokol uh, prison so that those who die during the regimes uh, would feel a peace uh, and they would rest in peace uh, after that. Thank you, Your Honor. Ceux qui sont morts pendant le régime et pour qu'ils puissent reposer en paix. Merci, Monsieur le Président. The President, uh, thank you, Madame Civil Party. You already expressed your suffering and your testimony now comes to a conclusion, you are vécues. now excused. Votre déposition touche à son Court officer is now instructed to assist uh, her along with the vessel unit to make sure that uh, Madame Civil Party is uh, home safe and sound. Que la puisse rentrer chez elle. Madame Lai Boni, you, Madame you may Lai leave Boni, now. Je vous en prie, vous pouvez à présent quitter And at the same course. time, the chamber wishes to inform the parties to the proceedings that it is now appropriate time for lunch adjournment. Le the chamber will adjourn and the déjeuner. next sessions will commence uh, by 1.30 p.m. Where the chamber will be hearing the testimony of TCW362 questions to be put first by the prosecutors. And at the same time, the chamber will also give the opportunity to counsels or parties to the proceeding who would like to make any observation concerning the statement made by Madame Laiboni. A moment Les ago, de counsel Madame for Lai Mr. Nuntier, you may now proceed. La parole est à la défense de Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, our client, Ms. Nuntier, would like to follow this afternoon's proceedings from his holding cell. He is suffering from a headache, a a back pain, and a lack of concentration. And we have submitted the waiver. Nous avons 
remis le document de renonciation. The president of the chamber the notes uh, the request by Mr. Nunchier through his council, in which he has Nunchia. requested that he be allowed to observe the proceedings from his holding cell due to his health concerns. He indicated that he cannot remain seated for a long period of time and that he be allowed to retire to his holding cell. Council already made it clear that his waiver that given some print and signed by Mr. Nunchi will be submitted to the chamber in due course. In light of that, the chamber therefore grants such a request and that Mr. Nunchi is now allowed to observe the proceedings from his holding cell. With that, Mr. Nunchi has expressly waived his right to participate directly Nunchi in the courtroom, and the Chamber would like to ask that uh, councils for Mr. Nunchi produce this waiver given some print and signed by Mr. Nunchi in due course. AV unit is now instructed to ensure that the AV is well connected to Mr. Nunchi's holding cell so that he can observe the proceedings from there for the remainder of the day. Day. Security personnel are now instructed to bring Mr. Nunchi and kill some pawn to their respective holding cell. And have Mr. Kilson Pond return to the courtroom by 1.30 p.m. The court is adjourned. L'audience est levée.